because I had been covering foreign conflicts basically from for the 10 years before I did that high museum commissioner before I started the project in Louisiana. So I was back in the States living in New York, taking a few assignments um, and not really understanding like how I was going to fit back into this country after that other experience, particularly covering the war in Iraq, which is in, had been cons all consuming for me, but for Americans was just one little piece of the news for most of them. So when I came back, I was really sort of at a loss of what to do. And I had also forgotten, I think, how to photograph in times of peace in ordinary situations. I got an assignment to go to Louisiana to cover Hurricane Katrina for a Dutch magazine. And then um, I wanted to find these relatives of mine that I had always heard about who lived in the bayou, in the coast of Louisiana and I took like a half day out to try to locate one of them. And I found my great uncle who said, hey, do you want to go see where the Indians live, the Indian village? And I said, yeah, let's go. And these are insular kind of little communities. No one cared that I was related to them in the ways that I explained I was. A couple of people were like, oh, Rosalie Couteau, she was our ancestor, you know, let me show you the people who are also related to her. And I met a few people that way. But for the most part, um, they were just tired of journalists. They were tired of being reported on and nothing changed. And this community has faced discrimination at the federal and local levels. And then now they're just losing their homes because of these repeated storms and the, the coastal erosion, the loss of their land. Um, they've just been disappointed so many times and were so disillusioned by outsiders. I felt like I was just another one of those people coming through for a long time until um, at one point, I remember telling people, trying to explain the project, and I couldn't say I was a journalist, doing this as a journalist anymore, that this was for a museum. And then they got interested. They're like, what do you mean a museum? So, well, this is going to be in a permanent archive in the, muse the High Museum of Art in Atlanta, and there will be an exhibition and a book. And then they were like, oh, well, that sounds important. That's valuable. And they wanted, that, that really was, it, it kind of opened doors in a way I didn't expect. It was, it was um, kind of moving that they appreciated the value of that. These people who many of them I think had never been to a museum, they knew that their story was important and that that had a different kind of value, documenting in that long, slow way. When I came to Atlanta, I found this ready-made photo community, which was really wonderful. I didn't expect that. And people kept reaching out to me. You know, I'd go to events and some of them would say, oh, come to this other thing and let's see your work. And, so I got invited to show some of that work at um, APG, and Chip Simone, I think, hosted that, and we had a conversation, and Julian was there, and he pulled me aside and said, hey, we have this commission, or I'd like to see your work, or something like that. I can't remember exactly what he, but he invited me to the high, and I showed him the portfolio, and through that, the commission came about. And once I had it, that's when I switched from this fast 35 millimeter format to working in the the larger, slower format, because nothing was moving in any of my pictures, and it didn't make sense to work in 35 millimeter. So it made it possible for me to take that risk, this commission did, and to sort of explore the possibilities and also just to pay to go on these multiple trips I was taking to the coast. When people would ask me, where is this place that you go? Because everyone thought it was in New Orleans, right? It's all people know of Louisiana. And I'd say, no, it's like two hours south of New Orleans, an hour and 45 minute drive down these winding roads, you know, in the middle of the, of nowhere in a way and I tried to describe it based on the Mississippi River and the fingers of the Mississippi River and and then one day there was a guy I photographed a young man who was in his early 20s I think and he had a tattoo on his arm it was a picture of the state of Louisiana and underneath it was scrawled bottom of the boot and I asked him um, about the tattoo if I could photograph it and it seemed I like to find titles that come out of the place um, that I'm working and so that became the the title of the piece and then I, there was a little map really for me to <laughs> refer to and I could tell people like there you see it's the state and it's kind of that part sort of you know the, on the bottom of this the boot of Louisiana.